so very good morning to all day 3 session 1 on this fdp automobile engineering past present and future sponsored by aict ist organized by automobile engineering department so today i would request to simit prajapati to introduce our first session speaker please welcome uh, simit thank you professor yagnes it's my honor to introduce our first session eminent speaker dr gurmeet singh bachan sir he is currently working as a as an associate professor and head of the mechanical engineering department at dharamsi desa university nadiyar he has done his bachelor of engineering in mechanical engineering and master of engineering in mechanical engineering with specialization in machine design from gujarat university he has also done course of computer programming from gujarat university he has awarded his phd degree in mechanical engineering from dharamsi desa university in 2016 he has very rich experience of teaching for more than 33 years and 2 years of industrial experience he is center center coordinator for ddu bosch training center of excellence in automation technology he has published 12 research paper in reputed national and international journals he has presented research paper in international conference at turkey he is currently guiding eight phd candidates he is also panel member for research proposal presentation for 3 years for mechanical engineering at gtu he is also dpc member for gtu phd scholars he organized and attended various training programs he has delivered expert talk in well reputed colleges like nirma university and ld college of engineering he has professional membership of indian institute of surveyors and law assessor ist and institute of engineers he has expertise in machine design tribology automation technology and automobile engineering so without wasting much time i would like to invite our today's speaker dr gurmeet singh sir sir please good morning to all of you am i audible to all of you yes sir okay sir uh, thank you for inviting me for the guest speaker now today's topic just i'll uh, Hello. Yes, sir. Uh, my, my PPTs are visible? Yes, sir. Visible, visible. Okay. Thank you. Now, today's my topic is motor insurance and its application of surveyors in motor claims. Now, you must be surprised that uh, being a mechanical engineer professor, how could I go for the motor insurance and its application as a surveyor? Now, here, uh, besides the teaching, I am doing the freelance surveyor in the various insurance companies and accordingly I have gained some experience in the insurance field. Now, whatever I know about the insurance field and the most important aspects in today's life, that is the motor insurance. You must have seen the various insurance policies also. But you never gone to the details, how they are useful and which condition if you take 
or which points you should consider to take the maximum opportunities for taking the benefits of the insurance policies there are four or five pages which are been given by the insurance company to you when you take the insurance policy but i don't think that anybody has seen the policy okay so i'll give you the details how and what types of insurance are there okay what are the various types of motor policies what are the various add on covers okay nowadays which are very beneficial while you take the insurance and last but not least how to do the survey and what are the jobs of the surveys with giving the sample of survey copies to you okay so these are the various points which is so first i'll give you about the introduction and history of the motor as well as the accidents why the motor insurance comes into the picture accident and motor insurance various types of policies terms and conditions of motor insurance claims and recovery compulsory third party various insurance and particularly the motor insurance and insurance surveyor and loss assessor okay now let us go one by one now as you know that the motor insurance is the biggest and the fastest growing general insurance portfolio in the entire universe and india is not the exception of it okay so if you see that more than 45% of the total general insurance premium this is one of the most versatile premium most important premium of the general insurance companies okay so around more than 45% of the total premium that would be of the only motor insurance policies so in the year 2020 total non life premium that is the general insurance of the industry were around 56000 crores in the entire universe and out of which motor shares around 25000 crores so you can see what should be the importance of the motor insurance premium okay however the motor business was only 25 crores at the time of nationalization of our country <clears throat> now why this motor insurance comes into the picture so there are various factors which responsible for the growth of the motor insurance now first is as you know that individual learning capacity is increased nowadays <coughs> second is change in the priority of the life nowadays everybody wants to go for their luxurious life okay so naturally they go for the various uh, uh, important points that is uh, they can have the life every uh, physical aspects into their life then another one the explosive growth of the automobile industry so if you see that after before around 25 to 30 years back in india only two companies were there one is the uh, fiat and another was the ambassador now as you can see there there are n number of companies they are coming in the markets with the various models okay so the other thing is the various models they are introduced in india and in the world which may be the costliest one also and which may be the cheapest one also okay depending upon the individual earning capacity and lastly the cheap auto loans are available with all the companies so being these factors nowadays the uh, motor or the vehicle that is the common factor it is not been the luxury nowadays it is the normal commodity of a particular person okay now say that in 1951 there were only 3 lakh vehicles in the india and around 4000 kilometers road network was there but at the year of 2020 the number of vehicles they have been introduced more than 300 times whereas the road networks has expanded by the 30 times also okay so that would be the growth in terms of the 
number of vehicles as well as the networking of the roads in india also <clears throat> now the vehicles in india they are across almost 10 crores nowadays and which comprises about 6 crores of the two wheelers around 2 crores of the motor cars too, and around 2 crores of the commercial vehicles also and you can see that every year almost 90 lakh of the motor vehicles they are being introduced into the market okay so this much growth of motor being used by a persons by the public of the india now if you have a very uh, number of growth in the motors also naturally the accidents they are also goes on increasing so about 500 persons are being killed on road every day okay and around 125000 are being injured annually <clears throat> now the incidence of the road incidents to number of vehicles in india they are very alarming as compared to the developed countries so you can say so uh, per 10000 vehicles in india the accident was around 125 as against 10 in the development developed countries similarly the number of deaths per 10000 vehicles in india is around 6 60 as against only two in the west so in this conditions okay we need the insurance also another thing is in 1990 the traffic accident were world's ninth biggest which causes of the death and it goes on increasing and till 2022 that would be become around third biggest uh, cause of accident uh, cause of death due to the accident so who study who studies that the road accidents are the second or third biggest cause of death in the age or group of around 5 to 29 and around 32 44 years respectively and india situation is as you know is among the worst in the world that is the share of road petrol is around 86 percent among the all so you can see that the fatal in the accidents they are very high and risky in the india so in this situation okay the widespread use of the vehicles that is used by the common man so when the common man is using the vehicles naturally the vehicle owners may not have the requisite financial capabilities for the compensation of the victims of the road accidents this is the most important part because whenever you can drive the vehicles without an insurance doesn't matter but if you have an accident and if the third party is involved the another one is resolved and suppose any death has been then given uh, has been occurred to the third party or the opposite person then they will give you sue on you and you have to pay the penalty handsome amount of money to that particular person so this may not be uh, uh, capacity of every person okay so in that conditions the motor insurance comes into the picture okay so due to this the motor insurance came in now let us go about the motor insurance now motor insurance consists of two words that is the motor as well as insurance now what is a motor okay that is nothing but the under motor vehicle act okay all india has made a act the tariff of the motor vehicle act and according to the definition from the motor vehicle act motor is to be a self propelled propelled vehicle and insurance is as you know that it is a protection against any unforeseen risk now what is unforeseen risk uh, unforeseen risk that is an incident which cannot be foreseen that which may or may not occur okay that you cannot say that uh, accident is to be there or it is not to be there okay so it is an unforeseen is accidental type of the risk okay 
so uh, using these two words the motor insurance comes into the picture <clears throat> now the motor insurance as you know okay gave protection against the risks which is to be explained earlier now in order to overcome the liability now there are two types of risks which are been <coughs> taken care by the motor insurance policies one is the liability and the other one is the financial loss to your own vehicle okay now i'll go in detail about liabilities and this and there are different policies to meet the above that to meet the risk to be taken as per the liabilities or this to be taken by the financial losses occur to your own vehicle okay or you can have a <coughs> different policies for the liabilities or others i'll give you the details about what type of motor policies are there or you can take a single policy okay for the entire risk by using the motor insurance okay that is depending upon the cho choice of the particular person so first is the accident uh, results into the death of any persons or the third party which is to be involved and that is to be called as a liabilities so the first aspect of taking insurance is the liability and the second one will be the financial losses now what is the liabilities what covered under the liabilities now one is injuries or death to the persons which is to be involved in the accident only okay and second one is the damage to the property now what does it mean so when you are running a vehicles an accident has been occurred to the some uh, opposite vehicles okay so there are two things if the opposite person they have an injury or the driver has an industries in the both the cases you will get the compensation from the insurance company that is the first thing okay and second one is the damage to the property so if your vehicle by an accident it give it the damage to any other property it may be a building also it may be the another vehicle also it may be the animals also so any property so if it damage to any property then the owner of that property may uh, uh, give you a uh, so and accordingly the insurance company through the court they are going to pay the amount to the party for the damage of that particular property and the b that is the financial losses the financial losses also of the two types now one is the damage to your own vehicles that is known as od claim that is the own damage claim and the another one is the theft of the parts or you can say as the theft of the vehicle itself <clears throat> so in both these conditions whatever the in some insured okay the amount you have taken for the insurance of your vehicle that is to be paid by the insurance company how it is to be paid and what is to be there i'll let you know later okay now as you know that government has nowadays made mandatory to be taken the insurance policy and that insurance policy as per the motor vehicle act that liability act that is liability only policy that is mandatory now remember one thing <clears throat> suppose in number of cases if your vehicle is older than say 10 or 15 years then the depreciation will give you a very less amount of money if the accident took place so in that conditions number of people they won't take the insurance but remember you can avoid the own damage premium okay that is the premium which is for the vehicle damage but it is very very essential mandatory you have to take the insurance of the liability act okay that is the liability policy that is a tp that is a third party policy liability act. okay now in the another one that is known as a package policy which consists of the liability as well as own damage as i told you earlier <clears throat> now let us take about the history about the insurance so motor insurance is one of the most important portfolio as you know and nowadays it is made compulsory for the 
all the vehicles which are flying on the roads. So it is worthwhile to know that the toll taken by the road accident is not less than the toll of a major nature or the man-made catastrophe. Okay, and that is not less than the accident which is to be there. So in 1894, first motor car introduced in UK. 95, 1895, the first motor policy that is covering only the third party liabilities. Okay, that is to be introduced. 1899, that is the comprehensive insurance policy. That is the package policy that is came into the picture. That will add along with the liabilities, third party liability, the own damage of the vehicles also. And 1903, the Insurance Corporation Limited company has been established. Mainly for the issuing of the motor insurance, and it is to be followed by the other companies. So post World War II, one, the increase in the number of vehicles and the road accidents, and Road Traffic Act has been introduced in 1930 and 1934. Okay, where the compulsory third-party liability insurance to be taken care. So first. Road Traffic Act has been introduced by the Mumbai Court, and in that act, compulsory third-party liability insurance has to be taken by any vehicle which is to be flying on the or running on the road. And Road Traffic Act 1960, the compulsory insurance provisions of above acts was consolidated. In 1939. the motor vehicle act mva has been passed that is the first motor vehicle act has been passed and 1946 in india the compulsory third party insurance introduced on the 1st july 1946 and the practice is followed whatever is to be taken care by in the uk market also <coughs> now governed by the a tariff so previously before 1946 okay so all these things we were under the uh, uh uh okay 1946 we got the independence but before that we were under the uh, united kingdom so all these policies everything will be based upon the uk market okay so then in governed on 46 onwards and it is to be withdrawn in the uk and motor vehicle act 1988 replaced the motor vehicle act 1939 okay which was first introduced in india by the uk person and that is be revised and it is replaced by the 1939 in 1988 and it is to be effective introduced thoroughly in 1989 so imt that is known as indian motor tariff revised With effect from 1st July 2002, for the purpose of insurance, okay, all type of insurance has been carried out, and has classified the motor vehicles broadly into three categories with further sub classifications. Okay, now as per the 2002 Indian Motor Tariff Act, it there are three categories has been classified for the motors. One is the private cars. second is motorized two wheelers and the third is the commercial vehicles okay <clears throat> and accordingly the policies have been issued three types one is for the private cars second for the motorized two vehicles and the third for the commercial vehicles so in you can say that in the motor insurance total three types of policies broadly for three types of vehicles has been issued so here the motor vehicles are there in private vehicles there are two wheelers and the private cars here the rate and everything is different commercial vehicle is different where we can use the cargo goods vehicles <coughs> passenger car that is the taxis also miscellaneous vehicles and the motor trade vehicles accordingly the uh, premium conditions everything has different for the private vehicles as well as the commercial vehicles now i'll tell you about the various types of 
<coughs> motor policies okay now the first is the packet policy now as you know that packet policy consists of od that is the own damage as well as the third party coverage and second one is third party coverage only and third is bundled policies so i think if you have purchased the vehicles within a short period nowadays so instead of packet policy it is a bundle policy is a packet policy also but in bundle policy there are number of concepts are been there i'll let you know about what is the difference between bundle policy and the packet policy okay so in bundle in uh, your od and the third party coverage that is packet policy you are taking the risk for the vehicles also as well as the third party also so you are covering the damages to your own vehicle as well as the third party liability also and that is to be taken for one year only okay even third party coverage is all so for the one year only but in case of new vehicles and bundle policy you can take the private cars for three years policy two wheelers for five years policy okay so now in it, uh, as i told you that bundle policy is one kind of a package policy only but bundle policy you can take more than one year in a single policy okay so in case of a uh, private cars you can take the od premium directly for the three years okay and for two years you can directly take the od premium you can take the the od premium for five years so five years your vehicles is capable for the od claims okay so any damages happens to your vehicles during those five periods you can avail the the compensation from the insurance company and the third party liabilities that is also been taken care for the one two three years so in bundle policy instead of one year you can increase the the, the coverage for three years or for four years for the two wheelers and one more thing which is to be added in the bundle policy is the compulsory pa for the three years okay so that is the personal accident so all these three points okay these are the three points that is to be covered under the bundle policy so if you can see your vehicle at home okay nowadays the bundle policy the all the dealers they generally provide you the bundle policy okay so in that bundle policy you have after say 3 years or 5 years you can again renew for your premium now the packet policy that is the section 1 that is od claim okay that will cover the following losses okay so if you have an met an with an accident any vehicle met with an accident so if you go to the uh, garage for repairing and if you have the insurance you claim for the uh, that particular accident okay now what is to be covered and what is not to be covered that is very important suppose you have given the, the garage person has given to the estimate of say 20000 rupees but the surveyor has passed only 10000 rupees so what is the difference between these two why instead of 20000 he has given you only 10000 rupees okay so there are number thing which is to be covered by the uh, policy and what, there are number of points which are not covered by the policy so you can have the idea that what is to be covered under the accident of your vehicles and what is not to be covered under the accident okay of your policy one is accidental external means so any accident or means accident has been taken place whether it is knowingly or unknowingly doesn't matter okay you met with an accident so if accident has been taken place that is to be covered under the od claim fire self ignition lightning okay so uh, you must have uh, uh, heard about and you have uh, uh, noticed about 
the automatic uh, say fire took place in a vehicles and particularly in the cng or the lpg vehicles okay so if one will the if the fire is self ignited in your vehicle also that is also to be covered burglary or the theft of the part or the theft of the vehicles that is also been covered under the od point terrorist activity okay due to the terrorist anything happened to your vehicles anything has been broken your vehicles that is to be covered riot strike or the malicious damage so malicious damage means suppose you have parked your vehicles at certain place and somebody has thrown the stone on your vehicles and your windshield glass has been broken so that is a malicious damage okay so that can also been covered by this particular policy earthquake flood cyclone and inundations so even flood is a inundation means the raise of the water in your area due to any anything it may not be a flood also but inundation so overflowing of the gutters okay that will increase the level and suppose your vehicle is submerged inside the water then anything happen to your vehicle that is to be covered by this particular policy while in the transit by the road rail road or the air elevators so whether you are uh, transiting your vehicles okay suppose you have been transferred from one place suppose here from the orissa and you are not going by your own vehicles so what will you do you transport your vehicles on a truck okay so that it will take your vehicles from one place to the other place and anything happens to your vehicles by the accident of the truck in which your vehicle is going even then also whatever the compensation is there that is where accident has been taken place that compensation has been given by the insurance company and the landslide or the works like okay so these are the points which are to be covered under the policy okay and the most important is okay also the loss or damage to accessories by burglary or house breaking or the theft okay number of cases somebody has broken your window and they theft your uh, system okay the music system or any system which is to be there so that is also been covered okay that is the hard breaking of your vehicles or the burglary or the theft also so private cars it is to be covered now in accessories remember accessories if it is inbuilt fitted in the vehicle it is to be covered but suppose it is not been fitted in the vehicles and you have fitted by your own uh, money externally okay then that amount should be added to your sum insured okay i'll tell you what is sum insured so add ever to your insurance value so that your that component will also been covered under the your own damage vehicles okay now in motorized two vehicles payment of addition of 3 beam 3% now here we are not paying any additional of 3% we are adding the amount into your sum insured but in case of two wheelers we add 3% to the idv now what do we mean by idv idv that means insured declared value that is known as a sum insured okay so because when you take your vehicles say you have taken your vehicle about 70000 rupees okay so seven and you have taken the insurance about for the 70000 rupees so 70000 rupees that is to be considered as your idv or you can say as your sum insured and whatever the premium is there say the 1000 rupees is there so by adding 3% you can add the accessories which you can fit your on two wheel also okay and in your commercial vehicles now remember in your private vehicles everything is to be allowed anything except some of the portions but in commercial vehicles there are number of components there are number of parts which are to be deleted in a normal policy conditions and in commercial vehicles the parts which are not to be allowed in a normal policy that is the headlights 
tires, mud guard, or you can say as a fender, and bonnet that is a bonnet side parts and bumpers. So these parts in normal conditions, normal policy, they are to be deleted for a commercial vehicles, and that is to be known as IMT 23. IMT 23. I'll give you about details about the IMT also. So IMT 23. Okay. So, but if you add some premium, then all these parts they have been covered under the policy, and that is to be called as IMT 21. So if you allowed IMT 21, then all these parts they have been covered under for the commercial vehicles. So in normal conditions, normal policies. These parts they have been deleted if the accident has been taken taken place. But if you take some premium by adding by in, adding the IMT 21, okay, then all these components they have been covered for the OD damage. Okay, and another thing is loss or damage they are not payable. Contractual liabilities when okay you have been given your vehicles to the some contract persons war perils or the drunken drivings now this is very important consequence loss depreciation wear and tear of the mechanical components okay there are number of components they are comes they comes under the wear and tear say the bearings nuts and bolts okay oil filters all this comes under the wear and tear so in normal policy remember all these are not been covered under the normal policy conditions how you can add it and what are the add-on features that i'll let you know later on okay so most important is so that is why when the you have given gone to the insurance company for the accident of your vehicles and the estimate is twenty thousand, and you have been given only ten thousand rupees so in that condition suppose they have uh, uh, replaced the oil okay gases then uh, nuts and bolts then bearings etc all these things they shouldn't be covered and suppose if you are going then uh, your uh, say your piston is not working very well okay not giving the power so wear and tear of the piston took place and if you want to change the piston and using the policy that is not been covered Damage suffers to the vehicles under the influence of the intoxication of the vehicles or the drugs. And claim arising out of the ge uh, geographical area. Now, geographical area generally it is of a India only. In your policy, it is written as India. Okay. So, in India, if you are driving your vehicle in India, it is to be covered. But you take your vehicle from India to Bangladesh or India to Pakistan also. Then, if anything happens there, it is not being covered. So that also comes into the geographical area. Okay, and the most important aspect is when a person who is driving the vehicle has not a valid driving license. Okay, suppose a person, uh, a vehicle is met with an accident, and driver has only the two wheelers license, but not the four wheelers, and he is driving the car. Then it is not a valid driving license, then its claim has to be rejected. Okay, so these are the various points <coughs> where the claim is not being payable under these conditions. So, as you know, that <coughs> third party is mandatory. So, whether your vehicle is old or new, compulsory you have to take the third party, otherwise, okay. So that is known as liability only. And in third party, as I told you, the death or bodily injured, or you can say third party property damage. So second was is personal accident covered to the driver or owner for the death also, and personal accident covered to owner that is by the injury. Now you must have seen that MSCT claim. Okay, motor accident claim tribunal okay so anything happens to your vehicles and the 
persons inside the vehicle, whether it's a driver or the another person, they have been injured by the accident. Now, injury means the fractures are broken, uh, anything, fractures or loss of the limbs or anything else also. Okay, just by a uh, small injury, they are not being paid. Okay, so even PA covered to the owner or driver, that is covered. PA covered to the owner or driver with of injury only. Suppose the hands is broken, leg is broken. So whatever the claim is to be there, that is to be paid by the insurance company. That comes under the third party liability. Okay, so total compensation not to exceed one lakh in two wheelers and two lakh in case of the four wheelers, exclusion of the PA policy. So if you take the PA in addition to the third party, then your amount will be more. But if you have taken only the package policy, that is the OD as well as third party only, then the limit for the compensation is one lakh for the two wheelers and two lakh for the case of the four wheeler or any other vehicles. Okay. But PA, if you have been covered by the PA, then it can be increased up to the amount which is covered under the PA policy. I'll let you know about the policy later on. Okay. So as you know that third party is compulsory. And if it has not been taken, if you go, uh, if you drive your vehicles without insurance, that is a punishable offense. And that would be come into the picture. So under section 146 of the Motor Vehicle Act, the if you are not taking the insurance, then you can have the imprisonment of the three months or the penalty of thousand rupees or both. Okay. So always, even uh, if you go to number of places also and in, in the road also, okay, the traffic police, they might have been uh, stopped you. And they also, nowadays, they also see your insurance policy also. Previously, they have not seen, they just see the driving lessons and the RC book only. But nowadays, they see the PUC also and also they see the policy also. That is also one of the compulsion part which is to be taken care while you drive any vehicle. Now this covers subject to the owner or the driver okay, of the vehicle which is to be insured. Okay, There are two words which are to be very important, insured and insurer. Insured means the person who is taking the insurance and insurer, insurer, that is the company who is taking the insurance. Okay, so insured, insured whose name is there in the policy, that is to be covered in the third party liability. Then second is the in RC book also, whatever the name has been written, that is also covered. Okay, or in driving license, it is to be covered. Okay, whatever the effective name is there, and in according with the provision of rule 3 of the Central Motor Vehicle Act at the time of incident. So all these things have been, been covered under the rule number 3 of the Central Motor Vehicle Act which is to be developed in 1989. Hello. Uh, am I audible, sir? Yes, sir. Okay. Okay. Yeah. Sorry for the reason. Okay. Under section 2 of the policy, that is the death or bodily injured, okay, which is to be unlimited, whatever the amount of, uh, you can say, amount of the uh, injury is there, that is to be covered under the policy and the damage to the third party property. So it will be from 6,000 to the 7 lakh 50,000 depending upon the how much it is to be damaged. And the PA covered under section 3. Okay, section 1 is OD damage, section 2 is the third party liability, and section 3 is the PA cover. 
okay that is for the bundle code bundle policy so in pa policy it is around 2 lakhs rupees minimum is to be there okay now the scale of compensations so in comp is uh, in type of the nature of injury is death then you will get the 100% compensation of the part then if the loss of two limbs okay maybe uh the sight also one eye one limb any two limbs that will give you the they will give you the compensation insurance company will give you the 100% okay so and loss of one limb or the only one limb or the one eye that will give you 50% and the permanent disability that also compensation is 100% the rest of the damages say the accident is to be there and whatever the amount is to be there so as per the hospital's bill it is to be paid by the insurance company okay now about the points which is to be covered under the insurance this is very important aspect so first of all when you go for the insurance company to take the insurance the first and foremost thing is you have to fill up the proposal form okay that is the first aspect so the proposal form as specified in section 5 of imt is required to be submitted at the newer vehicles also or at the time of renewal also it is compulsory to fill up the proposal form that is the first and foremost point and second one is which type of policy you are going to take okay one is the liability only so if your vehicle is old enough say around 8 years 9 year or 10 years or whatever is there then you can say that whatever the accident is to be there it is not been 100% compensated you will get hardly the you are getting only say 40 or 50% of the amount of the accident so in number of cases the people may not take the entire policy but uh, they have to be take the liability only policy that is the third party policy which is covered for the bodily injured okay or for the property damages okay so that is the liability only policy and second is the comprehensive policy which is a co knows as a package policy which includes the own damage to the liability also that is the second one okay now the most important aspects that you may or may not be knowing nowadays there are so many insurance companies they are into the pictures previously only the four major government run uh, government owned by the the general insurance companies were there that is new india insurance company assurance national insurance united india and oriental insurance these are the four which is to be governed by the government they are the four major insurance companies were there nowadays there are more than 20 private insurance companies there comes into the market now when number of com uh, companies are there so nature is the competition among them is also very high okay so as per the competition that ultimately that will give the benefit to the customer that is the insured okay there are number of things which you are not been knowing please see that all these points 12 points they are very important you can add in your normal od premium to get the advantage of various aspects okay now let us go one by one zero appreciation error cover nowadays you nil dep cover okay everybody knows about this this has been there and generally in general insurance companies that is a uh, government uh, sector okay all these four companies it is covered for 5 years okay you can take the zero dep policy up to 5 years in the normal general insurance companies of the government owned companies and in private companies okay you can increase the uh, years 
from 5 years to 7 years also in number of companies private sector private insurance companies they increase the zero debt coverage up to the 7 years so it is up to you so zero debt why what is zero debt and what is the uh, difference between the zero debt and the normal policy so in normal policy okay normal policy as the vehicle has become older then the depreciation has been deducted from your uh, accidental coverage okay so for metal parts the coverage is from 0% to 50% depending upon the age of the vehicles i'll give you that list also later on and for plastic parts say headlight bumper or all these parts anything happens on the second day also at the time of accident you will get only 50% <coughs> okay so for the plastic parts the coverage is 50% only and for fiber parts it is 30% and okay which is been very less in the companies in the in the vehicles and for glass part it is 0% so if anything happens to your windscreen glass even in the normal policy after 5 years also 0% depreciation has been deducted for your windscreen glass okay so in normal policy your depreciation has been deducted as per the age of the vehicles so whatever the amount you claim for your uh, accident you are not getting the 100% okay and uh, deducted has been taken place by the for the depreciation while in case of zero debt policy okay zero debt has been covered in uh, that is the add on remember your normal od premium is already been there if you add a some amount of premium to that od premium then your zero debt cover will be allowed okay so in zero debt whether your vehicle is 3 years old 4 years old or say uh, new also you are getting 100% no deduction for the depreciation had been taken place for the if you are taken the zero debt policy okay that is allowed first okay whatever is to be there and one more thing is there in number of insurance company they allowed only two claims in a particular year remember in two zero debt claims will be allowed in a particular year suppose your third claim is there then they will consider the third claim as your normal policy so in third claim they deduct your depreciation okay so up to two claims nothing has been deducted from your policy and you can claim zero you can avail the enjoy of the zero debt of your uh, claim second in consumables now remember <clears throat> in normal policy all consumables they are not been allowed for the normal policy now what are the consumables that is the grease gas lubricants even clips also bearings filters engine oil oil filter brake oil nut and bolts screw washers all these are been not covered under the standard policy okay because when any accident took place for the vehicles naturally the number of things that would be covered that to be replaced even though it is not been damaged so gas has been been replaced even lubricant also been replaced bearing also been number of times it is to be replaced nut and bolts is to be replaced when it is to be removed so all this will be not covered under the <coughs> standard policy so if you take if you add the consumables in your policy it's hardly few hundred only but that will help you a lot in the longer run okay third is the roadside assistance <coughs> now roadside assistance means anything happens to your vehicles when you are away suppose your vehicle is from gujarat and you are going in rajasthan anything happens at rajasthan okay any breakdown has been taken place then <coughs> the towing charges is when allowed 
on site repair service you can do it and you can claim it later on also when you come to the uh, main here okay even loss of key changing of the flat tires fuel delivery everything that would be added in the roadside assistance now one more thing i'll tell you in normal policy towing charges allowed for four wheelers is 1500 okay it is 1500 maximum it is 1500 irrespective of any claim but in number of cases if you use a crane okay suppose your vehicle met with accident and it cannot be run on the road so you require a crane so if you go for a crane then the amount of uh, crane is more quite higher than that of the 1500 value so in normal policy you can avail up to the 1500 rupees but if you take the road side assistance then that will go to the actual amount which is to be paid to the uh, uh, your crane amount or whatever is to be there okay this is the difference between the road side assistance add on cover and your the normal policy cover then the engine production cover this is also important because anything happens to the engine while you are in running okay then it is to be covered okay any expenses for the mechanical or electric breakdown engine due to the oil spill or the water ingression that is to be covered under the engine protection cover okay key loss that is also very important nowadays keyless entries are there okay in the, in the vehicles the set of key that amounts the thousands of rupees that amounts thousands of rupees okay so anything happens to your key key loss is to be there then that will give you a, a very huge loss to your own pocket value okay so that key loss if you are using a high end vehicles then the amount of key is very high okay and anything happens to your key loss then not only the key loss but the sensors everything that is also been changed and that key is to be made in the company itself okay not the dealers not anybody else can make your claim so that is to be in terms of thousands of rupees loss if your key has been lost and that also you can add in your coverage of od okay then the passenger assistance so this coverage of the hospital allowance medical expenses medical transport assistance is okay that is for the policy holders who are to be there inside the passenger which is to be covered because when you take the normal policy the coverage has been taken place for the driver as well as or your owner but rest of the person if you add the passenger assistant you can avail this uh, coverage for the accident also tire damage also in normally accidentally if the tire is damaged you are getting it but if you add this tire damage add on coverage so in number of cases the bulging of the tires okay air bubble is there in in your tire also so that is the bulging of the tire takes place due to the running puncture or the busting of the tire even while go on running also okay so all these thing is to be covered under the tire also if the tire add on cover has been taken place and another thing is if you go for the commercial vehicle also then tire is not been allowed this is excluded in the normal policy so by using this you can add the amount of tire under the accident for this particular policy return to invoice this is very important now invoice value is whatever the amount is to be there okay that will add the amount of vehicle also okay even rto tax also all these values there to be there and while you are taking the insurance the insurance company is not taking the 100% value so in second year okay suppose in the first year suppose anything happens to your vehicles so 10% deduction is there and you are getting your amount okay so already insurance has been taken 
in the computer field itself after deducting some of the amount okay but if you take the return to invoice value so that is to be covered of the full amount which is to be taken care at the time of taking the vehicle delivery of the vehicles the entire amount you can avail in case of total loss or the theft of the vehicles so this is used only in case of your total loss or the concept or your theft of the vehicles so you will get full invoice value of your vehicle protection of ncb this is also very important now what is ncb that is the no claim bonus i'll tell you one more thing about it so ncb means the no claim bonus suppose for the first year you have not taken any claim then you will give a 10% discount for your own damage premium for the second year okay suppose second year also you have not been taken any claim then the 10% is added in your 20% will be deducted in your own damage premium okay that is called as a no claim bonus one more thing is there suppose i have my old vehicles say maruti car is there and i am going for the hyundai car now but in my previous vehicles my ncb is 50% okay so in my vehicle which is to be there uh, which i am running for the last say, ten, uh, six or seven years and it has the 50% no claim bonus is there and now i am purchasing a new vehicles okay from a brand new vehicles from a dealer so remember one thing you can transfer the ncb from one vehicles to the another vehicles if the owner is same okay if say i am gd basan gurmit singh basan i have my vehicles of say maruti car and i am availing 50% okay of the uh, uh, previous vehicles and i am uh, going for the new vehicles by my own way then i can avail the same 50% of od premium of the new vehicles okay so this is to be there for the ncb transfer this is protection of ncb is different in that case suppose i transfer my ncb from the older vehicles to the new vehicles so what is my ncb of the new vehicle that is 50% and suppose anything happens to the accident i have been taken place for my vehicle so if accident has been taken place of your vehicle then in the next premium your ncb directly been gone to zero remember okay so your ncb even though it is 50% this week this year it has been gone to 0% if you avail any um, your uh, insurance for your accident of your vehicles so to prevent the ncb from 50% to 0% or from 20% to 0% okay protection of ncb is add on to be covered so by paying a normal premium you can protect your ncb so even though your accident took place of vehicles of this year next year the same ncb has been taken place okay but this protection is not been covered by all insurance company okay number of insurance company they take this add on cover number of insurance may not take this so be aware you can avail the ncb protection for this particular vehicle okay then the loss of personal belongings so loss of personal belongings is if you put anything articles inside your vehicles okay and somebody has taken uh, theft or anything has been there so your personal belonging okay sir articles or other items or personal nature it can be used that is to be add by the policy holders daily allowance it is been given by very few companies and that is only for private companies they are giving by opting this because what is their daily allowance suppose you have the vehicles okay and your car met with an accident and garage will tell you that you are getting your repaired vehicles after say 5 days so for 5 days you have no vehicles with you then 
you have to go by the car, the taxi or anything to your workplace okay so in that case the company will give you a daily allowance till your car is repaired okay which is to be fixed by the insurance company as per your status and everything okay and that is to be paid by the insurance company if this add on cover has been covered under your policy personal laptop and mobile okay this is also been covered in the number of private insurance companies so this add on allows you to get the compensation if your personal laptop and mobile so you have heard about and uh, okay about the news that the laptop has been stolen from a car or the mobile has been stolen from your car okay unless until it is to be covered you are not getting a single penny so you can add the personal laptop and mobile in your add on coverage of your motor insurance okay so these are the various 12 points which are very important if you go for the motor insurance okay you can ask the okay they are not giving you all this uh, add on coverage unless until you demand from them okay so as per your requirement you can demand any of these concept okay of the uh, this add on coverage is as per the motor insurance coverage is now i'll this is the bundle policy okay so this bundle policy for the vehicles so as i told you it bundle co policy is coverage of three points one is the own damage second is the liability and third is the compulsory pa and also it is covered for the number of years also i have taken the od only for one year liability for three years and the compulsory pa also for the three years okay so for three years so whenever my next renewal is there so i have to renew only for my own damage premium liability and pa is not been covered for that particular policy okay it is already been there in your policy so that is the one point which is to be very important which is to be taken care okay now another thing is pa policy is taken care under section 3 here by the owner or cum driver is 15 lakhs rupees so under this 15 lakh is to be covered under the pa policy otherwise if i have not taken the insurance policy pa coverage is my maximum amount is up to 2 lakhs rupees okay so this is how the policy has been taken the first page of the policy now the second page policy this is idv this is very important idv means insured declared value or you can say as the sum insured okay so your total value of the vehicle is 16 lakh 50000 now because all the accessories everything is in there inside it so i need not take any part or any electrical or electronic component from the outside okay so whatever my declared value is there 16 lakh 50000 the same will be my total value but if you add the cng or lpg kit okay now one more thing is there if the completely fitted cng or lpg is there then directly you are getting the hair value no need to for the value of lpg or the hair is there if the company fitted lpg or the cng kit is there okay and you need not pay the extra amount for this particular cng or the lpg kit but if you fit the cng kit separately on your vehicles then you have to add the value of cng kit okay in your policy you have to add it otherwise if your your vehicle has cng kit and you are running the vehicles without adding the cng kit in your insurance policy and if it met with an accident your claim may be rejected okay <clears throat> so if you add the cng separately put the value of rupees say 15000 or 20000 here and your total value will go on increasing to 60000 16 lakh 70000 or 75000 depending upon the value of the cng kit that is the one aspect second thing is electrical accessories also so if i change the simple music player by the lcd screen okay so i am changing my 
musical system by a simple LCD, uh, simple musical system by the LCD screen, which is having a uh, value of say 15,000, 20,000 rupees. So you can add the electrical accessories here by putting your extra additional value of the LCD screen that you have kept it for your extra added accessories. Okay. If you want to put this accessories here, in case of somebody has stolen your screen, then you are not being payable for a single penny in the insurance company. Okay. So that is one thing. Your uh, policy has two sections, section A as well as section B. Section A is the own damage, section B is liability. This is compulsory. Okay, you have to take this in spite of your values of, and it doesn't affect your sum insured value. Okay, liability won't be okay depending upon your insured declared value. It is fixed by the government itself. Now, first is basic OD premium is already been there. Okay, motor OD basic has been there. I added the engine protection cover. I added the engine to this, this one. then I add the cover on nil depreciation policy. Okay, so zero depth coverage I have covered. Then I add the consumables also. Okay, so that all these values depend upon the basic premium. That is 13,162. It is depending upon this. All this value add will be you OD premium is 52,652. Okay, now. Add on consumables is there. I added also the return to invoice value. So, in case of theft, I'll get the entire amount that is 16,50,000, which is good. Now, this value has been taken care as per the return to invoice value. Otherwise, this value will be lesser the of this 16,50,000 amount. Okay. And remember, no claim bonus is there that is 50%. So NCB discount is 50%. Remember, even though I purchased the vehicle brand new, my NCB is 50%. Why it is NCB 50%? Because I have my older vehicle also. In that older vehicle, I have 50% NCB. And that NCB, I transfer to my new vehicle. So in your, my older vehicle, if I take, say, only the liability also, that is fine. But my 50% discount is very high in case of the new vehicles because the premium is very high. Okay, so that will give me the advantage in saving some of the money also. Oh, liability is the same as per the one. You can add the liability as per unnamed driver also, unnamed persons also, and all the the paid driver also. So these are the liabilities, TP coverages, and add depending upon your requirement, you can add it. And here all these liabilities okay here imt has been returned 28 so there are a number of imts which are to be endorsed here imt 20 16 28 22 6 and so on i'll give you the some of the list of the imt just for knowledge sake okay then another thing is the compulsory access that also i'll give you later on okay so this is about the policy which is to be covered Okay. Now I'll give you the IMT tariff. This has been given in the insurance uh, uh, in all the IMT tariff act. Okay. If you open the IMT uh, under IIDA, that is the Indian Regulatory Okay Development Act. So I agency. So IIDA agency. You can uh, write down in Google IRDA, then you can find out all these acts inside it. Okay, IMT 1 to IMT, there are uh, 70 or 75 IMTs are there. Okay, so under these acts, IMT rules, it is to be taken care. Okay, I'm not going about in details about it. You can read, you can find out the various aspects according to the IRTA, that's IMT. Now, the claim procedure. If, say, the accident took place, then what is to be taken care? So first is you immediately uh, notice of the loss to the insurance company from where you are taken the insurance. 
okay and for the accidental loss you have to uh, submit the following documents as on now one is a copy of policy rc book cop policy <coughs> okay copy of rc book copy of driving license estimate of repairs claim form of the insurance company which is to be there puc aadhar card copy pan card copy and the cancel check okay because nowadays whatever the amount is to be settled by the insurance company directly that is to be gone to your uh, bank account okay so these are the points which is to be taken care while any claim has been mm, lodged and in case of say theft you have to add the fir copy with your claim form okay and after you are submitting this to the insurance com uh, to company they will appoint a surveyor which comes for the assessment of the loss which has been taken to your vehicles and after the surveyor has been seen your damages he inform the uh, uh, the garage persons to start repairing so unless until surveyor won't allow repairing tell the uh, repairers to repair the vehicles they cannot start the repairing of the vehicles in case of the partial losses okay now the compulsory access is also been there so compulsory access means if your vehicle is less than 1500 cc that is private cars compulsory 1000 rupees would be deducted from your amount okay that is the first point and if your vehicle has more than 15 cc uh capacity okay then the deduction is 2000 rupees from your first 2000 will be deducted irrespective of your claim claim is said uh, said 5000 rupees even though the uh, 1000 is deducted even the, if your claim is the 1 lakh rupees also 1000 rupees is been collected so irrespective of claim amount this amount has been deducted that is known as a compulsory excess for two wheelers it is 100 rupees only okay in case of total loss the liability is equal to your idv idv is insured ticketed value so as i told you what is idv at the time of your you have taken the insurance say it is 16 lakh 50000 okay so in case of total loss whatever the amount of idv is there, that is to be given by the insurance company now remember insurance company may deduct the amount but if you are strict to restrict to your idv they have to give the amount which is to be infl uh, okay given in your policy as idv value okay they may reduce but if you are strict okay and you are reluctant they have to give your idv value okay otherwise if the amount which is to be given is less and you are not been satisfied then you can give to the arbitrator okay that is msct claims and in your uh, tribunal courts they can increase the amount to the your uh, estimated value or they may keep the same value if the tribunal found it is to be as it is okay but you have to uh, claim lodge your claim under the tribunal within a year okay that is compulsory type of losses one is a total loss okay and that is equal to your id value now remember one thing say so there are two things which is to be there one is say total loss is there and sub second way is your estimated amount the ss amount of your vehicle is 70% of your idv then your vehicles will go for the total loss means suppose your vehicle is older enough okay and your sum insured is say 1 lakh rupees only but if your vehicle met with an accident and the amount that will be more than the 75% of the idb means suppose the ss amount of the surveyor is say 75000 rupees or more then your vehicle will go for the total loss okay 
so it is not been there that it is 100% total loss but even partial loss also been there but it is uneconomical to uneconomical to repair then also it is gone for the total loss okay in theft also okay you will get it partial loss it is accidental loss or the partial theft also it is parts or the accessory you can claim for that okay now in normal policy rate of depreciation for rubber or plastic parts is 50% as I told you rate of depreciation of the fiber parts is 30% okay glass part it is nil and all other part okay uh, rate of depreciation for the wooden parts that in case of the commercial vehicle it is 50, uh, raise as per the your schedule for the metal parts okay so these are the schedules so if you have taken the normal policy and your vehicle is say 2.5 years old then in your metal parts depreciation will be allowed as 15% okay so if your metal parts is say uh, 10000 rupees okay then 1500 would be deducted 15% is deducted for your metal part and for plastic and other parts it is 50% okay glass part it is nil so even though in normal policy you can approximately calculate what should be the amount you will get it after the accident okay now the last point is the surveyor and loss assessor okay now the surveyor anybody can become a surveyor okay under the irda that is insurance surveyors and loss assessor regulations act okay and if the claim is for 50000 and above for motor and other is 1 lakh okay that is been for the private companies for the general insurance companies you can claim for any or uh, any claim is there the surveyor has been appointed as a third party okay the license which is to be given by the irda is valid for 3 years for individuals as well as the companies also areas of the surveys one is a fire second is motor fire comes all types of come that is fire includes earthquake then uh, inundation flood everything riots everything comes under the fire motor marine cargo means the anything happen in the transit okay in india in cargo in vehicles that is marine cargo marine hulls so if your vehicle uh, your uh, uh, your uh, commodity or will go from india to abroad by marine hull okay by the steamers or anything anything happens that is called as a marine hull miscellaneous means theft or anything which is covered under the miscellaneous engineering means engineering damages say the tv say even air compressors or your air conditioners or all these things comes under the engineering policy crop is a different one and the lop means the loss of profit loss of profit that will comes under the fire as well as engineering also so if you take the fire policy okay you can add the lop along with the fire so the loss of profit if fire took place your production has been stopped okay so in that conditions you can take the lop policy along with the fire so you can have whatever the profit which is to be lost during the fire and during the production that is to be covered under the lop to become a surveyor these are the documents which are we needed education qualifications uh, nowadays the uh, suppose one should become a surveyor he has to be taken training for the one year full time under a professional surveyor okay and that training quarterly report has been submitted to the insurance company so training completion certificate from a senior surveyor application under form 1 af of irda copies of membership isla is there indian institute of insurance surveyors and loss adjusters okay that membership certificate is compulsory it is to be joined fee and the affidavit okay this is to be covered if you want to become a surveyor and loss assessor role of surveyor to assess the loss 
and it is the link between the insurer and the insurer it is the independent surveyor okay it is not been influenced by the insurer company or by the party itself okay he will assess the loss independently and that is why it is a independent surveyor and they are usually for the non life that is a general insurance business okay so their job is assess the actual loss and avoid the false claims type of motor surveys spot survey final survey and the reinspection survey okay final sur uh, the spot survey will be carried out the place of accident and generally it is to be there for the commercial or the heavy loss happen to be the private vehicles otherwise you cannot go for the spot survey final survey carried out at the garage to assess the loss and reinspection means whatever the parts which is to be replaced that is to be kept at the time of reinspection so that whatever the part have to be replaced they are actually replaced or not they have to be taken care by the reinspection and if your amount is more than 20000 rupees then you can go for the reinspection otherwise reinspection is not necessary now this is the one of the report which is to be covered in what are the various various to be filled policy insurer which company is there party is there vehicle details driver details the uh, loss details <clears throat> most important is the cause and nature of loss and uh, no accident okay because that will give you the amount which is to be covered this completely depending upon the nature of accident suppose you have given the accident say by vehicle met with an accident with the left side and you are claiming for the right side then nobody will give you the there okay this is for the spot and the various at the spot what are the parts which are to be damaged that is to be shown in the spot survey report they are to not be 100% any inside damages may cover at the time of the final survey these are the superficial at the time of survey at the spot it is to be shown in the spot survey this is the final survey okay this is common this is also common and whatever the estimated cost is there and what is the assessed cost that is to be covered now remember all these values depends upon the nature of accident and how you have shown in your claim form this is the labor charges these are the parts which is to be allowed these are the labor charges and these are the summary okay so this is the net liability so estimated loss is 35000 but ss lot is 10575 that doesn't mean that whatever you claim it is not been given by the surveyor but there are number of things which the garage people may add even though it is not been damaged damage part is 100% given by the surveyor but there are number of things which he add even though they are not being damaged by the uh, by the uh, garage people so only those parts they have been not been given so don't think that whatever has been estimated you have been given only 10575 okay it is not been there but number of things which are to be add irrespective of not been damaged that is not been covered so in your uh, uh, amount 10577 that is directly be added into your uh, your uh, bank account now remember no insurance company can deduct any amount which is to be assessed by the surveyor okay this is full and final settlement of your amount which has to be given by the insurance company okay now these are the head office these are the delhi office of the iida where you can go for registration of your license to act as a surveyor and loss assessor okay now this is the most expensive car in the world that is the bugatti la voiture dore that is 18.7 million dollar this is the smallest car in the world that also you have seen in your vehicle also okay that is pp50 137 cm long and 120 cm high longest car in the world 
that is limousine having 26 wheels there is napoleon dumbo it carry 170 passenger capacity in a single weight most expensive is two wheelers that is 250000 dollar okay that is dodge tomahawk having 10 cylinder engine and maximum speed up to 400 miles per hour and it is a 10 cylinder engine thank you so much uh, any, any questions? questions from participants i think in between having the uh, ravi kumar they having this uh, some question uh, uh, yes sir my question was uh, when you covered about uh, the driver uh, any health health damage to a driver so suppose if my brother is driving the car yes. is registered on my name yes uh, if he is injured he is hospitalized will the insurance yes. cover him yes if pa is to be taken care in your own damage generally in the od claim okay a uh, driver is to be taken care in the od claim if so, is the car, is, car is not registered on his name doesn't matter doesn't matter if od uh, if you have seen my slides also driver is to be covered okay because in od simple od it has not been there but if uh, generally when uh, the insurance company they are taking care of the uh, liability then pa2 driver has been taken care is or maintaining that so you see your uh, policy whether pa2 driver has been taken care or not okay sir Huh? PA to the driver has been taken care or not? Okay. Any other question? I think, sir, uh, there is a no question from participants. Side. Okay. But uh, uh, as we know that government has mandate uh, for vehicle insurance, and yes. you have, sir, uh, such a nicely present the everything in detail. So, sir, thank you very much, uh, Dr. Basan. It's a very informative session and helpful to participants for gaining uh, such knowledge in uh, motor insurance and in application of surveying claim. So, thank you very much, sir, for joining with us and spend your valuable time thank uh, from your busy schedule. Thank you so much. And Accept our invitation as an expert lecture for this faculty development program. So, on behalf of automobile engineering department, I would like to thank you so much, sir. Thank you so much, and uh, I'll give you one. If anybody wants any information later on, also you can share my number to them. Also, I am ready to help at any moment, any time, even though later on also. Thank you so much. Huh? Thank you. Thank you, sir. Okay. Thank you so much for hearing me. Thank you.